Hello, everybody. My name is Joe Bergen. I'm with Clemson University and one of the co-authors on this paper, IDUC Solution to Address Common Challenges of State Agency Drone Deployment. Uh, so um, we live in South Carolina and using drones is not necessarily a new tool. It's been around for you know decades, especially on the military scale. Uh, but things have really uh, expanded recently uh, with the development of Part 107 that opened up the skies for commercial drone use. The uses have exploded from search and rescue, law enforcement, emergency management, mapping and surveying, that's kind of my area, agriculture, and also inspections. Uh, I will work closely with the SCDOT and their uh, drone program. But uh, when, you know, as I'm working with the DOT, you know, we, we work in silos. I'm sure this isn't necessarily um, uh, unique to us, but we look through uh, our resources, and again, we're a, I'm a state. I work for a state agency. I'm working with a state agency, and we look through all these other state agencies, and none of us are talking, none of us are communicating, uh, or or really, you know, sharing resources. So, me and a and a, a friend of mine who's a, a collaborator that works for another state agency kind of got together with the idea of, hey, look, wouldn't it be cool if uh, we we sent a note out to everybody uh, that we know personally and you know who's using drones and kind of get together and say, uh, let's get a cup of coffee, and then let's just talk and see what your agency is doing, and just kind of sparking some discussion, and again, break down some of these silos that we're all in. So we agreed, and, and that's kind of the genesis of what we're going to talk about um, here. Uh, but the goal was uh, of this paper, which we're going to identify, is to identify column, common challenges of, of adopting UAS technology, and then identifying a mechanism for addressing those challenges. Um, so here's how, it, here's how it started, and as I said, I work with a, a colleague over in DHEC, and he knew some people, and I knew some people that were working with, with drones. And I said, let's send out a note. Let's send out a note with a survey and just kind of a, a generic, let's kind of pull some data. Of what, are, what are your agencies doing? Uh, how are you using drones? And then in the same survey, we'll use this as an invitation to a workshop. And again, when I, my idea for a workshop was, you know, maybe... I don't know, we knew probably 35 or so people across the state. Maybe we get a third of those people. We get a room. We have 10 people in the room, and we just talk, talk about what they're doing and seeing if we can share some resources and, and where we need to go. And then afterwards, with this workshop, what we would do a post-survey to kind of I kind of solidify some of the topics that we had talked about. Um, so with that, uh, we sent this interest survey out. And again, as I said, about 35 or so people uh, that were sent out with the one of those surveys, you know, that uh, can you answer these questions? And if you know anybody else who'd be interested, can you please forward this survey on? And again, we had 35 people or so in our initial survey. We thought it would kind of, you know, maybe we get 10 responses back and get coffee someplace, but it blew up. Um, the, initial, um, uh, the initial survey, like I said, went out to 35 people. Uh, it expanded out, and we ended up getting 56 responses back, so more than we actually had sent out. And 88 people had uh, had requested to attend the workshop. Now, again, we had only reserved a room, you know, at DHEC's office for like, you know, you know, 10, 15 people or so. So we needed to rent space, and we couldn't even accommodate everybody. We had to put some people uh, on a waiting list. But the inf information we got from this initial interest survey was fairly not surprising. You know, we asked questions, and I won't show them all, but things like, you know, um, how are you flying? You know, and about half were saying under Part 107, which is kind of expected. Um, that, you know, those are kind of, you know, know what they're doing and are operating under the law. We had 16 or so that were operating off of ACOA. So that told me, though, they were a little bit more, you know, sophisticated of a user and actually had requested some things from the FAA. We had 22% that didn't know. And that, that told me that you guys are, if you don't know, then you're definitely not following the rules. So pretty wide gambit in terms of the state agencies and how they're operating drones. Um, you know, we asked about the aircraft that they were flying. Pretty, you know, DJI was definitely the lion's share. Not really surprising there with some of the common brands out there from SenseFly. And, you know, even we had a parrot that was flying out there, as people had acknowledged. But as I said, um, again, we were thinking about getting coffee, you know, and having 10 or so people. But we blew up to 80 people in this room. We had to rent a rent a some space in downtown Columbia. Uh, the goal of this workshop was to one network and then two identify challenges for statewide drug 
drone deployment. Uh, and then three, to kind of figure out, well, what are we going to do about it? So the networking part was fun. We just basically went around the room, and to my knowledge, for the first time ever, uh, the collection of, of not all state agency, but a good cross-section of 36 different state agencies had the first time be able to say, what are we doing? You know, what are you doing? What am I doing? And we learned a lot. We, we had forestry people that were dropping bomblets. We had Homeland Security doing their thing. We had law enforcement using drones to sniff out cell phones. It was, it was amazing the various different uh, use cases that were out there. So good networking opportunity. You know, using the pre-survey kind of as a as a tee up, we 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 identified some challenges that hey look what are you know not necessarily just for your agency but from a statewide perspective, what are uh, the challenges that we have, um, and we identified sharing resources amongst uh, agencies, developing policies. You know we were all developing our own individual policy, which is silly because we're all in the same state and you know there's a lot of overlap there. Uh, training and this field uh, is constantly evolving. So having some kind of focal point to disseminate good information that's maybe filtered a little bit to, to, um, uh, uh, to something that's relevant. Ultimately, the, uh, the unanimous consent was we need to come up with a group, some kind of uh, nonprofit organization that's made up of just state employees to focus on South Carolina state uh, interest. So hence, IDUC was born. IDUC is an acronym for Interagency Drone User Consortium. Uh, so that was the birth of it. And then we sent the post-workshop uh, follow-up and uh, survey out to kind of identify some of the the key objectives that we wanted this group to uh, to do. So a little bit of funding, and that was interesting, but not much. Um, uh, disseminate information was big. Developing policies, uh, research and training, and then ultimately communicating between agencies was the number one um, uh, goal of this uh, the, this group, uh, um, IDUC, which would evolve into SkyDuck for South Carolina Interagency Drone User Consortium. So I'm going to uh, share my screen here for a second. I'm going to introduce you to Skyduck and this is our web page so this is something I'm very very proud of um, so our first meeting was in August of last year and as I'm recording this this is July 1st so less than a year at a time less than about you know less than 11 months uh, we went from uh, a survey uh, an email that went out and then a, a group of people that kind of got together to the group that I'm going to describe to you uh, in a second um, but this actually well I'll do a little bit of it now so Skyduck uh, is South Carolina Interagency Drone User Consortium. We are a group of, of six, 165 members made up of over 50 state agencies. We have created a 501c3 corporation licensed in our state. Um, and actually, I'm going to use the website in here to expand a little bit more on it. So here's our website. I encourage you to take a look at it, uh, www.skyduck.org. Um, uh, this is our group. This is our landing page. And I'll use this to kind of talk through a few uh, different things. Our About Us page, you know, these logos are all various different state agencies that are, are participating as both on the on the uh, statewide scale and at the local level. Uh, those are all people who, agencies that allowed us to use their logo. We did ask for permission. Uh, our board of directors are made up of, uh, of eight different different um, uh, individuals from various different groups that range from uh, Department of, of Health and Environmental Control, ETV, which is the, the group that does all of our public broadcasting. Uh, we've got uh, South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, um, University of South Carolina. Uh, Jason Lucas is, is a faculty with me here in Clemson. Uh, Uva is um, with DHEC. Again, that's another Department of Health and Environmental Control. Daryl is with Forest Protection, uh, uh, South Carolina Forest Protection agency so uh, a pretty wide range we do a lot of things one of the things that we do is we highlight various different members every month that are doing you know cool you know things with drones we recognize various different state agencies uh, and how they have been using drones to do something uh, of interest we have various different committees um, that get together we have marketing and policy and you know training and we have various different committees that, that work together to do something we even have our our own swag well I'll, I'll leave that aside. Um, uh, we have a forum, and we do. We have a monthly, uh, a quarterly um, skycast. What we call it, basically, our 
It's a video webcast that we put together, a podcast. Um, This most recently uh, one was with the Civil Air Patrol. We've done uh, previous ones dealing with privacy and then uh, remote ID, which is if you're a follower of this subject, it's kind of a hot topic right now. Uh, We have a sponsorship program in which we we have, are very fortunate to actually have sponsors uh, to financially support us. Uh, The board and all of our members are all voluntary, but we do have to pay the bills. um, And uh, we're most recently proud of Bentley. So if you're if you're familiar with them, Bentley is a, a software developer that provides software for basically almost every one of the DOTs across the country. Maybe there's a few that have escaped them, but uh, very proud of the work that uh, or uh, appreciative of the, their support um, as well as the software they give us access to, which we can provide training for. So uh, thank you very much for your interest. Again, I would encourage you to take a look at Skyduck. It's a great organization. We've done a lot of work uh, in, like I say, a year's period of time, um, and if this this is something that, uh, that your state you think could benefit from. Uh, it takes a passion, takes some work, but it can be done in a year's, uh, like I said, we did it within a year. And I'll be happy to share my notes uh, offline with you. So thanks, everybody. I appreciate it.